Hey guys, back at the Ream RGPH again today. Me and Fritz have been checking everything on it. Everything's checked out good so far. Um, we're going to check the pressure switch today. I got Fritz and Sarge on here with me again. Hey Fritz. Hey guys, what's going on? How y'all doing? Uh, yeah, I figured today, Ray, we're going to check the negative pressure switch on your uh, 97 RG PH uh, ring furnace here. And it says here in the manual, all models of the low profile furnace use a negative pressure switch. It checks for proper operation of the induced draft blower and for block vent conditions. The induced draft blower causes a negative pressure in the inducer housing, which closes the pressure switch contacts. The induced draft blower must generate a negative pressure at least 0 0.1 inches below the switch setting. All right, Ray, let's uh, pop that door off. And uh, first things we're going to do, though, is let's uh, let's test it electrically before we uh, pull the monitor out and everything. Okay. Okay, Ray, the first thing we're going to do here, it looks like you got your door off. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure the power is off. Is the power off at the disconnect up there? Yes, it's off. Okay, fantastic. What we're actually going to do here is we're going to check for a shorted pressure switch. So what I want you to do is actually, uh, with the power off, I want you to remove the leads off your uh, pressure switch right there. Okay. And have like an NO and a C on there. Okay, that's okay. cool. Go ahead and uh, get your HS36, your fill piece, your brand new fill piece, and set it to ohms. Okay. Okay, take one lead on one and one lead on the other. And we should read open line here. That's what it says. And we're reading open line. There you go. Now, if uh, if you if you measure any resistance whatsoever, that uh, that pressure switch is shorted, needs to be replaced. I mean, right out of the gate, you know that. If you read a point one, whatever, any resistance whatsoever. Okay, well let's try another electrical test. Okay, Ray, you did a great job on that, man. And what we actually were doing that test before was checking for a shorted pressure switch. This is like the first thing I do when I pull up. So basically, if uh, it should read open line, OL, is what you say on your on your digital meter there. If it shows any resistance whatsoever, it's game over, time to replace the pressure switch. All right, Ray, let's, let's move on to another electrical test we can do real quick. The power is still off, correct? Yes. Go ahead and take your perspective uh, wires to your perspective terminals and link me just enough to get your alligator clips on her. Okay. What we're actually doing here, Ray, is we're going to check for a closed pressure switch during a call for heat. Okay. So go ahead and take one of your terminal, one of your alligator clips, and hook it to the back terminal. There you go. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that other uh, uh, alligator clip and we're going to ground it to the body, the the body of the pressure switch itself. Okay. Uh, set. Do you got it set to volts? I'm sorry. Yes, I do. I did that. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and fire it. Should be reading 24 volts. Got my 24 volts. Okay, we can switch it. We can switch it. Your terminal should be reading 24 volts. Yes, I got 24 that way as well. Okay, let's go uh, for the entire computer. Okay. Okay, right, we're, we're good right there, brother. And what we actually did was we checked for 24 volts at each terminal. Uh, this indicates whether or not the switch is open or the switch is closed. If we've got 24 volts, it indicates that our switch is closed. If uh, if we were had voltage present on one terminal but not the other, it would mean the switch is open. All right, man, uh, I reckon we're ready to uh, hit on to the manometer test, man. Yeah, let's do some uh, pressure testing on it. <laughs> Sergeant is about out of it. Oh, yeah, he's still back there helping us out, isn't he? <laughs> Go. Okay, Ray, man, you did a fantastic job. Uh, we checked the uh, pressure switch you have right there. We checked it electrically. We checked for a shorted pressure switch. That's where we got our, we were looking for our OL. And if we've seen any resistance at all, we knew that it was a bad pressure switch. Time to move on. And uh, the second uh, electrical test you did was uh, checking for a closed pressure switch during a call for heat. That's where we got our 24 on each side. If we didn't have our 24 on each side, we would know that uh, the switch was open. So right now everything's cool. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to uh, actually test the pressure on the pressure switch. And uh, what's your pressure switch uh, say right there? How many times did you say pressure switch? Go ahead, Rick. It says 0.30 inches water column. 
0 0.30 inches of water column. Now, Ray, if you look at your uh, your pressure switch closely, is there like a stamp or anything right there where your uh, inlet is right there on your pressure switch? Yes, sir. On this particular uh, furnace, this frame furnace, this is a negative pressure switch. Okay, so we're going to be, uh, it's going to read negative. But uh, nonetheless, let's uh, go ahead and show the uh, show the people here how to set it up. Uh, go ahead, uh, the, the power is still off at the furnace, correct? Yes, it's still off. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and pop it loose right there at the pressure switch, the little rubber, orange rubber hose there. Okay. Okay, and uh, knowing you, you probably got another orange hose, don't you? I do, right here. <laughs> okay, well, let's hook that to the other side of it. Okay. All right, brother. Do you have a T? I got a T. Let's hook that up. Okay. All right, got that hooked up. Okay, now I bet money you got uh, something coming off your new mainline manometer there, don't you? Yeah, I've got two different hoses to make it fit right, but it works. Okay, okay. Okay, I got the manometer connected. All right, perfect. Now let's hook the manometer to the negative side of that manometer. Yeah, it's hooked to the negative side. Now I do have a mainline too, and I know it's on the left. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, what did we say we were looking for, Ray? 0 0.30 is what the pressure switch says. Okay, Ray, you got your main line hooked up. We got our T in there and everything, but uh, yeah. just for giggles, let's go ahead and take the HS36 and uh, hook them to your terminals right there, uh, one on one and one on the other. Okay. And what we're actually doing here is we're going to look for the uh, the make point on this thing. Once 24 drops out, we know it's been made. And on this particular furnace, it's 0 0.30. Now, I've got the manual, like I stated, uh, 45,000, 50,000, 67,500 and 75,000, 100,000 is a negative 0 0.30 with a maximum make point of 0 0.42. Anything over 100,000 is a 0 0.35. So what we're actually going to do here, Ray, we're going to fire it. It's going to be quick. It's going to be real quick. We're going to fire it, and uh, we're going to see when that 24 drops out, and that's going to be our make point. All right, bro, let's do it. Okay. Perfect, Ray. You're good to go, brother. That's how you say Awesome. So I'm in, I'm in good running order all the way around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some shorties, I guess. Uh, that was basically just testing a pressure switch. Yep, I'm in good shape. Ritz, I appreciate you helping me. I know my furnace is ready to go. Almost cold night's coming up. No problem whatsoever. Uh, I think Tarz wants to tie the feed bag on. So yeah, it looks like he's getting get restless back there. <laughs> All right, guys, man, I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, every one of my friends. Yes, Merry Christmas, everybody. Over and out.